Yo, what's up? It's your boy Drew Skitty P. About to do a review of uh, a cartridge. Let me take a couple hits first. I'll let y'all guess what it is. You probably already know because you just seen the little bottom thing. But also, this is my first cartridge I bought in forever. Like once I figured out what plug and play was. <coughs> and Stizzy was, I ain't never bought another cartridge like these. I mean, my straight pods. <coughs> <coughs> but anyways, <coughs> let me um, <coughs> introduce y'all to the sunset. Mojito. Refined live resin cartridge. This shit is the best. If it's live resin, buy it. I'm telling you, but this shit's fire. But the flavor's better. The high is different, and I still get high as hell. It's probably because it's a little different because it's a hybrid. My last one I had was an indica on the plug and plays. But plug and plays, they artificial. Use fake terps. This is live resin. This shit, real deal, holy feel. This shit, high as hell THC too. I've been noticing the plug and play stizzies and all them. They've been like 70% THC lately. This one right here, 83 they had another one in there that was Indica that was like 86. And so on. Uh, so, yeah. But, this shit's fire. And I had to pick up the plug and play. Uh, plug and play. The C Cell Palm. And uh, the cool thing about that is Raw Garden uses C Cell cartridges. And this is best used with C Cell cartridges. So, it's a real good hit. And it's a real good battery. So, it make it smooth. This is a smooth hit. They got a light indicator. I just went to a smoke shop, picked it up. You can pay like 25 for it at a smoke shop, 20 or whatever like that. And uh, probably a 15, 10 online. Live resin cartridge is really worth it. Um, way better than plug and play Stizzy packs. Unless it's a live resin plug and play or Stizzy or packs. They don't got them yet. They do got live resin packs, packs pods. And they do have live resin Stizzy half gram pods. They 45. But uh, I went to LAX CC right here by LAX Airport. I think it's called that or LA LACC something like that. Right here by LAX Airport. And uh, they don't charge tax. The prices on their menu. They do charge tax. It's included in the prices on the menu already. So prices on the menu is the final price when you walk in there. So that's what I always be looking for when I go to dispensaries. Ones that don't charge tax because I'm not trying to get taxed. Um, but anyways, so this was 75 for a full gram, which isn't really even taxing if you think about it, because a, a half gram for these is 45 at uh, places I'll be going to that doesn't charge tax. So like 45 for a half gram or 75 for a full gram. I just got the full gram because I want the shit to last me. I don't want to have the hassle of having to go back to my LAX to go back to the fucking dispensary and shit like that. You know what I mean? Because I ain't trying to get taxed. And most of all these stores, all the places around here, you got to find and really dig and find a place that's not charging tax nowadays. Um, LAXCC, they don't charge tax. And NoHo, uh, NoHo Connoisseurs Club, North Hollywood, they don't charge tax. If y'all was asking or looking. And uh, they got plug in place. Connoisseurs Club do. That place, I don't know. I only bought this from them. They got three different kinds of live resin cartridges. One for 60 for a full gram. It's the house brand. The lady said it wasn't that good. I wanted the best experience, and I I saw a review of uh, I saw a review of the raw garden before, and I wanted this. So, I mean, I saw the review and I seen it was good. So I'm like, yeah, I need to try that. It's another brand that I need. It's a couple brands that I want to try. Um, I just got to find like a dispensary with them and stuff like that. But yeah, LAX CC they they don't post on Wii Maps that they got the Raw Garden and they got another brand too. I forgot the other brand. They got three brands. They got their house brand, which is called Pot Farmer. Pot Farmer. That's the only one they show on there. Then they got uh, Raw Garden and they got the um, some other brand that she was showing me. But I just went with Raw Garden because I know Raw Garden. But yeah. Anyways, this shit's fire. Way better than Plug and Play and Stizzy. And, and it tastes like some sherbet or some fucking starburst like some i don't know the flavor is amazing i'm gonna take another hit for y'all and i'm gonna let y'all go dear thug dizzle make sure y'all like subscribe
try live resin cartridge. It's the new movement. It costs more, but it's way, way better, way worth it. Lately, <clears throat> the Stizzies and plug and plays, I've been getting them from the same spot, so it ain't like they fake or nothing like that. I've been getting them from the same spot the whole time. And I know they're legit shops, you know, like Stizzy. Stizzy was just in the shop I go to, kind of Sewers Club in Noho. They was just in there handing out free Stizzies. I got a free big Stizzy, and I bought a, I bought a Stizzy pod, full gram, and I got a free big Stizzy. So, yeah. But anyway, um, they've been tasting, like, weird to me. I don't know. Like, sometimes they taste, I don't know. They taste, we they've been tasting weird. It ain't, it ain't like it's fake ones. It's real ones, you know. They just taste different. Like, this... This tastes real, tastes real good, you know, tastes, I'm not buying anything unless it's live resin. Alrighty, <coughs> y'all heard it here first, this is way better than any plug and play, stizzy, packs, unless it's live resin, but raw garden, this flavor right here, fire. I don't know if anybody did a review of this flavor, but fire. Alright, I'll see y'all later. Make sure y'all like, subscribe, all that comment let me know uh other brands other shops in la that don't charge tax um yeah y'all favorite live resin brands favorite everything you know how the moxie dart is y'all like them but it's not live resin though and the flavors sound weird anyway peace out